Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Hot Rod River Scott from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review let me discuss something. So this version of River Scott was released last year back in 2021 all and was got released for 2022 yet again and I still got two cars that haven't been unboxed yet which are the Easter Buggy and Holiday Hotshot Lightning McQueen but that's for December so this was found at Walmart unfortunately no sign of Otis or Darla Vanderson. And no and so far not a single two pack or a deluxe. So I'm guessing that only leaves Target. So anyhow here we've got his artwork and the old cars logo. The title brand Hot Rod River Scott, and the metal logo. And and although and, and on the back we've got the Cars 3 logo. We have the metal logo and the cars on the back that shows Rusty's Cruiser Mirrors, APB, Liability, Kabuto. Strip the King Weathers, Murray Clutchburn, and Jackson Storm. 2021 Mattel, the Mattel logo, and the Arsen Network. So now, without any further ado, let's start unboxing and get right into the review. On this. Here we've got his. So anyhow, no, during the, so anyhow, during the ending scene credits for Cars 3, he, along with Junior Moon and Louise Nash, who I unfortunately don't have, were repainted with with flames and their numbers removed by Ramon and they also attended the grand reopening of Thomasville Speedway along with the the displaying of Doc's Doc Hudson statue and was seen in another portrait with the other two racing legends jumping on a full moon night with Mater and now without any further ado let's let's dig right into the review here we've got his grayish blue paint work and his headlights and his chrome gray grill and his smile, his happy facial expression, no tampos on the hood. And on the both sides we've got the red rims on the white circle border lining and the light blue flames and the engine partially exposed on the sides. And underneath it says R01A DXV35 Mattel, made in Thailand. And on the back, we've got 
MCMC dash me his license plate I'm pretty sure it says M oh wait a minute here's a correction MC NC dash me and on the right side similar design but completely different oh and I forgot to mention that on the tire let me see if there's any detailing out there. Oh, and on the top, in each, on each of his tires, it's uh, Blackwall tires, it says Outlaws, which mean, meant that he used to be an outlaw. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other Thomasville inhabitants. We've got Sweet Tea. Smokey. Hot Rod Junior Moon. And the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet, even though he no longer lives in Tom lived in Thomasville, and some of the other Willie's vehicles, we've got Sarge, who is a 1942 Willie's MB Jeep, and Will my car's OC Willie, who is a 1941 Willie's Hot Rod Coupe. And that is it. So, the only Hot Rod Thomasville legend that I, that I, that I, that, that is, got, need, that I need to get, that I, that I have to get, that I'm, so, I mean, uh, so, so, here we have so far, Hot Rod Junior Moon and Hot Rod River Scott, and the only one that I don't have is Hot Rod Louise Nash. So hopefully I'll get her. Her then two down. So therefore two down, one to go. But what do you guys think? Which Thomasville inhabitant is your favorite, and which Willie's vehicle is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments as well as suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. And consider the support by making suggestions in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!